hello guys welcome to my another video tutorial in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can upload PHP website with database in your cPanel or online server first of all you must have a domain name and web hosting if you know how you can buy a domain name and web hosting that's great otherwise I will mention the um, link of the video how you can download and I mean how you can buy a domain name and hosting from Bluehost you can watch the complete video then you will be able to see the how you can upload the PHP and uh, website or project on the online server okay the first step you must have a domain name and a web hosting the next step is you need to I will show you the project I want to upload the project online server I use localhost login domain this is my project very simple login form I want to upload this project with online server this is a fully uh, connected in the database I log in it then I redirect with another page I click on logout I redirect on the first page this is a project right this project is connected with my database so first of all you need to open this project so I go to my C drive and ZIMP and htdocs and this is my project I have already basically zipped this folder this is a basically a normal folder I zip this folder on the right click it just right click it and send to zip okay after zip this folder you need to export your database so go to your localhost php my admin and then export your database just a minute okay my database name is php tutorials and under the php tutorials here this is the database name under this folder i mean database have another table like imply i click on it and then i click to export that's it now you need to wait a couple of seconds and click to go guys now your database has been downloaded on your computer now you can see you have zipped the uh, project folder and also downloaded the SQL server I mean database in your project the next project is you need to log in your cPanel account I'm using Bluehost so I will enter my username and password with Bluehost account just a minute I pause the video I will tell you on later okay guys I logged in my Bluehost account after log in your Bluehost account you have already bought the domain name and hosting then the next step is I want to basically upload my website with um, subdomain okay with subdomain you can also use my method to upload your website on main server right so first of all I go to domains this is uh, my domains section under the domains I click to subdomains I will create a subdomain right guys it means subdomain I just teach you how you can do that this is a my demo dot knowledge dot com this is my domain this is a call subdomain and I click to create right and then you need to wait a couple of seconds to create the subdomain okay return to subdomains and go back now you can see a domain dot knowledge tutes dot com I open this domain demo dot knowledge demo dot okay nothing 
display on this page right okay the next step is I go to my basically where is the advanced setup advanced okay go to advanced and yeah, this is the advanced basically section advanced click on advanced and uh, you need to create a database right and first of all I upload the project I right click file manager okay I right click file manager and I find I go to public underscore HTML and this is a my subdomain folder open this folder and under the folder have uh, many files I remove them basically I don't need it okay remove that just a minute I click on to delete 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 that delete and delete okay this is a basically empty demo I mean subdomain okay I refresh it nothing happened on this page okay now you can see it demo.knowledgetweets.com I upload the basically my project this is a my project I I want to upload this project so I go to upload upload and I copy the path and paste the path this is a my project open the project go back right click it and extract straight close that delete the zip file and open the web folder select all files and folder and move on the main directory I remove that and okay the whole files and folder available under the demo folder I run the file okay now you can see uh, this is our project but you need to use a database I mean create a database and upload your own database then you will use the login system okay I close that I do not close because I will use uh, uh, where is a connection.php to change the database name and many other things so I go to cPanel and I find a PHP basically MySQL database I want to create a database and I create a database write the database name I write database name demo and create this is your database name copy that and I remove that paste that go back and uh, go to below guys just a minute and enter your username I write the username login okay this is username enter your password I write the password one two three four five six one two three four five six right and then you need to select the I mean create first you need to create the username I click to create and go back you have successfully made the database and also username okay one more thing we need to do is go on below and guys select your database the database name is I mean select your user login this is your username and this is your database name click to add okay select I mean check mark our privileges okay and click to make changes now the next step is I click to go back and you have successfully made guys the knowledge I mean knowledge 6 underscore demo your database name your username is knowledge underscore login your password is one two three four five six right okay 
after creating a database you need to upload your own database okay first of all I go to first I copy the user this is your user okay and this is your pass I mean database and this is your guys uh, user and password is one two three four five six okay now I go to advance and this is my database right and I want to upload the my I go to PHP my admin okay PHP my admin and you need to wait a couple of seconds to redirect the PHP my admin okay that's great now the click on the plus sign and this is your database knowledge 6 underscore demo click on that nothing happened okay and click to import choose file and go to download now you can see a employee database available in your computer this is a my project database okay I click on upload and click to go okay you have successfully imported the database now after importing that database you need to change three things one is your local host second is your database name third is your username fourth is your password okay our local server name is here yeah, you can see it this is our local server name local host three double three zero six okay go to cpanel file manager and open the connection.php file and click to edit edit and then you need to change the basically server name username password and also database okay our server name is localhost 336 copy that and paste here our username is knowledge login copy that and paste here our password is one two three four five six four five six paste here and final is guys uh, database name okay our database name is null six lg and save that refresh the project and I enter the username and password click login now guys you can see here welcome admin I click on logout I read out on my home page this is a my local project I have uploaded online server using I mean online server right and I will show you my basically where is my I go to my employee folder I'm in table and you can see a uh, admin username and admin password I can use invalid invalid username I mean invalid password now you can see here uh, I'm able to see the error I click on login button I can't read that with another page why because we need to fill in the blanks okay guys so this video all about how you can upload your PHP project with database online server or cPanel you must have a domain name and hosting web hosting I have already uploaded the website I mean oh sorry guys I uploaded the video how you can buy a domain name and web hosting complete detail with complete details so you must watch the video how you can buy a domain name and web hosting then you can see here the another process how you can upload the website so thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel for getting updates have a nice day guys